what's going on guys phil here from phil's craft corner uh, it's a little bit windy today so the audio is a bit bad i don't know how it's going to show up on this camera i've not tried it in the wind yet uh, i skipped having my lav mic which i got yesterday because we're building the shed and i'll probably get it tangled up and it's probably not a good idea so the first step in building the shed which is just over there got my assistant owen hi owen hey. uh, he's helping me out today just lifting things and holding things in place because it's a bit big to hold by one person so it's going in this area over here uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to cut this tree branch out as you can see it goes right from here all the way down and across right where we need to put it in so we're going to chop this out probably around here maybe a bit further back to print it in the future that's going to be a fun task to do because i don't have a chainsaw i don't do this enough to warrant having a chainsaw so i'll be doing it with a hand saw so i've got my ox pro fast super fast hand saw uh i've got my ox pro gloves this video is not sponsored by ox pro this is just the stuff that i got from howden's when i did the kitchen fits and i got the free stuff so we're going to chop we're gonna, well, i'm just going to snap some of these smaller branches off first so we'll get in and we'll just okay they're a bit tougher than i thought there we go there's one and then we're just just going to keep going and snapping until we get a nice clear area for me to get the saw in Morning, tree surgery. Always have a look where things are going to fall. I absolutely love this saw. So, a bit tired because of all the lifting. The sawing was an absolute breeze. So, it cut through this. It probably took about a minute to get to halfway where I was cutting. And uh, then it snapped, and then I had to go and do the other bits because no forward planning from a non tree surgeon handyman. Uh, that is Owen fabulously showing off our handiwork uh, yeah that's a it's a lot of tree that we had to cut out it's a lot more than what I thought I thought these branches ended around here about halfway but they didn't they went right over into next door uh, next door's got a lot more light in their garden so hopefully they're happy about that uh, if not I apologize but if you're gonna be cutting trees down by hand grab yourself an Octopro super speed saw because they are absolutely amazing all right check it out we have cleared all of the well owen mostly because i ended up talking to the lady who shed and building it's all cleared off now so i'm going to set the camera down set it up i'm going to set it on a time lapse we're going to get the whole thing built uh, and then i'll come back i'll show you it all built the things that we had issues with the things that we've repaired some little tips and maybe in there so uh enjoy the time lapse
as we were putting the supports down the side of the top of the roof the camera died started putting the felt on i had a staple gun to help me put that felt on make it a bit easier that stopped working jammed up and i need to completely disassemble it so we've got some pins and i'm going to hammer it on by hand uh, i'm going to get that done and then i'm going to come back to you we're not going to record that because this battery is quite low the second battery on the camera is quite low so uh, I'm going to limit the amount I'm filming for now and just do little updates for you. Alright guys, so a top tip for when you are putting these roofing felts on, you get yourself a pair of these, instead of trying to be upside down, try and hammer upside down and risking hitting anything like the glass. I know this one's already broken but that one's not and it's not worth the risk. Just get your pin, pull it nice and tight, once you've got it started to bed in, you just squeeze and it pushes in. So no messing about with nails, no knocking about, and it just pushes it straight in. All right, guys, the shed is finished. Uh, we took out the two broken pieces of glass there. We shattered them in one of the recycling bins. We repaired this section at the bottom here. All right, guys, so I'm here back at home. Uh, the camera died just as we were finishing up and getting the final shots in of what we did and the repairs we did so it went fairly smoothly apart from my nail gun dying uh, the rest of it went okay uh, failing with cutting the tree down that was just lack of experience really I should have checked exactly where it all went before starting to cut it down but all in all I was quite happy with how it turned out really good timing as well because today so over last night and this morning it rained and it's been raining a lot so the lady that we did the shed for she was managed to get her rowing machine that she had outside uh, a couple of bikes and a few other bits and pieces in the shed so they should be nice and dry now thanks for watching guys uh, if you liked the video if you liked how badly i cut a tree down if you liked the slow-mo anything that you liked about it then uh, hit that thumbs up uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing was what you would do differently uh, if you enjoyed it anything so uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.